Crafty Peeps. I have a new project share for you. This is for my swap partner, Mona Gardner, in the Facebook group, Mini Album Swap Some More. And this is what I made. I made a little altered clipboard. And it's for recipes. So, um, I really wanted the vintage style um, clipboards. And they didn't have any at the Dollar Tree. And then <laughs> later on, after I'd already started on this i had stopped by hobby lobby and found out that they had the old-fashioned ones and i was like oh but anyway so what i did was to kind of hide that ugly clipboard piece up i went ahead and used a clothespin that i um, painted white and then i used a button from michael's and then on top of that i used a little um pearl flat back charm with some little stones around it the paper collection that I used was um, Marion Smith's Romance Novel Chapter 2, which I really love. It's very um, vintage and shabby chic. So the same binding ribbon that I used came from Tamara's store. And then this little checked ribbon came from um, a little uh, Michael's thing from like the $1.50 bin um, that had other ribbons on there too. And then I have um, another really thin um, shabby chic or light pink, shall I say, double-sided ribbon that I got from probably most likely Hobby Lobby. Um, this is also from the Prima Romance novel, um, paper collection, um, that Marion Smith had created. And then I went ahead and purchased the number two, but they had a, um, group of little, um, clothespins here. So I thought that was really neat. Um, then I wanted to tell you about these really super stinking cute recipe cards that were shabby chic. Now I went ahead and I printed them off and it comes with two on there. And basically there's a front and back. It says recipe and then it says continued. Um, I didn't really think that there was enough room for ingredients. So you may want to find a different kind or enlarge this or something. I don't know. Um, I went ahead and distressed the edges with my Prima Ingrid Blom um, paper distresser. Um, the recipe that I used was Paula Dean sour cream scones, and I kind of thought that went with this um, vintage uh, looking recipe thing here. And um, I thought it was really cute. I kind of made a little boo-boo. I always write in pencil, and then it ends up that my eraser was not a great eraser. Um, so then I basically used lots of ephemera that I have from my stash and also part of it was from the collection um, like this, 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 and this was all from the Marion Smith paper collection that I just fussy cut out. And then with my lace, I did several layers of laces and they all came from different places. Um, some of them came from an antique shop. Um, some of them came from um, Scrimp and Mummy, Amanda Charlesworth. And then this little tiny spoon right here came from Daiso. And then this right here came from my friend Lee who gifted this to me. And I think Lee also gifted me some spoons, but I have purchased some of these too myself. But anyway, I thought it was really cool to make a pocket with the lace. Um, so I just kind of layered it up and was careful not to glue it to the board, um, like in this part so that the pocket would actually be a functional pocket. Um, and then you just attach this on here. The back is also done up. Um, I did use my, um, bow bunny, um, gesso that I got from Tamara's store. Let me show you that real quick some of the scrapbooking tools I use right here, Bow Bunny Gesso. I also used my art glitter glue. I did not use any score tape in this project uh, because I really didn't need any. Um, I, of course I use hot glue. Um, I got, I use this brush corduroy uh, distressed ink and then I topped it off with some of this um, stamp abilities light pink, which is from Hobby Lobby. And, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention where the recipe cards came from. Duh! Okay, so it's called Vintage Recipe Card at uh, Carrie Ann English. Um, and her um, website is shabbyartboutique.com. And she had lots of freebie stuff on there. So y'all might want to check that out. Very super cute stuff. 
I was in love. So I will be going back into her little dot com and probably printing off a bunch more things because we know I love some shabby chic. And then I just gave her another little extra recipe card here that she can um, use. And like I said, they came in two pieces, but I went ahead and glued them together and then distressed them. And um, I really like how it turned out. I, I just really love it. I hope Mona likes it. I um, hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. And again, if you like doing swaps, please join us at Mini Album Swap Some More. Have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye, y'all.